Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to the World Series finale here in the Nashville Stars franchise. Game six, and we are down 3 2 here as we head back to LA, and we will face Shane Bieber. And we will have to put Madison Bumgarner on the mound to save our season. He has been our go-to here in the playoffs. And we got to go to him here. So let's get this game underway. The first batter of the game will be Willie Adamas. He will swing and miss at that one. Strikeout number one for Shane Bieber. That brings up Kerry Doss to the play. Hitting 351 here in the playoffs. He will draw a walk. Bringing up Rafael Devers to the plate here. Hitting pretty well. He jacks one deep to right field. This one will be foul. It had the distance, though. He continues the at-bat and will strike out on the knuckle curve. Two outs. Dom Thompson-Williams, who has been clutch so far in the playoffs for us. He hits one to the right side. That one is fielded and thrown on to first. And L.A. will come up to the plate to face Madison Bumgarner. We acquire Bumgarner at the deadline and he has paid dividends so far. That one will be a strike three, getting Mookie Betts to watch that pitch. He has really been struggling so far in the playoffs. Gavin Lux to the plate, hitting in that two spot for the Dodgers. He grounds out that brings up Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman and Cody, Be Cody Bellinger have been killing us so far, but not this time, strike three. Two strikeouts here for Bumgarner in the first. As we move on to the top of the second inning. Taylor Trammell at the plate now with one out. He gets a pitch to hit right over the middle of the plate. This one's driven deep to right field. Back to the wall is Betts. It's going to be gone. one nothing for Nashville. The fifth home run of the playoffs for Trammell. That one was hit a mile in the air. And we take the one nothing lead. Bumgarner, if he has to do one job, he has to shut down Cody Bellinger, who hit three home runs last game. He strikes out at one in the dirt. That brings up the next batter, Clint Frazier, to the plate. He will hit one hard to second base. And that is two innings. Mattis Bumgarner has gotten through. On to the third inning. Our top of the lineup is back at the plate. That one's going to be a hard hit ball to the right side. Willie Adame starts it out with a one out single. And now we have a man on first base. Adame has, I wouldn't say he's been struggling, but he has not been hitting as well as he was in the regular season. Devers at the plate again. He smokes one up the middle. That one will be a single. And Bellinger with a throw to third base will not get Adame. And now we have runners on first and third. Two outs, bringing up Dom Thompson-Williams to the plate. A 3-2 pitch. The runner on first is on the move, and Thompson-Williams is going to be frozen at the plate. As now we move on to the bottom of the third inning as Will Smith comes to the plate. Blooper to right field. Dom Thompson-Williams, though, with an excellent jump. will get to that one. What a great fielder Dom Thompson-Williams is. Xavier Edwards to the plate now with two outs, and he swings and misses. How about Bumgarner on the mound to start this game? Nobody has touched him so far. Here is Mookie Betts back to the plate. Ground ball up the middle, right back to Bumgarner. As we move it to two outs here, Freddie Freeman now at the plate. Inside fastball, that is going to be a called strike two. Freddie Freeman cannot believe it. 3-2 pitch now is on, and Freddie Freeman this time watches that circle change. It's a strike three. No hits given up through the first four innings here for Nashville on the mound. Bumgarner, and that's going to be Kerry Doss here to start the top of the fifth with a two-out walk. Rafael Devers, one for two today. The 91st pitch of the game will be a hard-hit ball to Freddie Freeman. Knocked down. And it is still one to nothing going into the bottom of the fifth inning. Madison Bumgarner pitching very well so far. Bellinger at the plate. He just hits one hard into the shift. It's going to be an out. And Bumgarner gets the meat of their lineup out here 
as that brings up J.D. Davis to the plate. 0 for 1 today. He gets a hold of 1. Deep to left center. That one will tie the game. A 1-0 game going into the fifth inning. And J.D. Davis, who has been a very good hitter so far for the Dodgers. And he drives one deep and ties this ball game up at one apiece. Dom Thompson Williams comes to the plate now in the sixth inning. He hits one hard up the middle. That one will sneak through the infield. And we do have a leadoff single here as Dom Thompson Williams has speed. We can always send him here in this situation, but since it's only a 1 1 game, I won't you know, risk it here. But that brings up Jacob McCarthy, who hits one well to left center. That one will get down. Dom Thompson Williams has the speed to get to third, and now we have runners on the corners with no outs. Shane Bieber is officially at 100 pitches, and that brings up Taylor Trammell, who went deep earlier, one for two today. He checks swings at a high fastball. That one could have went either way, and it's going to be a walk. Bases loaded, no outs. Jorge Alfaro who's having an excellent World Series so far. He gets the bases loaded for him. He hits one well to the center fielder, and that one will get down. Bellinger comes up throwing. It will score two, and it will be a 3-1 to one game as Taylor Trammell gets caught up in a run down that time. But a two RBI single here for Trammell. He's got all the RBIs today. It's a 3-1 ball game. And now Alex Vesia comes to the play. I said Tramiel has all the RBIs. Jorge Alfaro had the RBI that time, two RBIs. As that brings up John Dumont, and he faces Vesia, and all he needed to do is just put the ball in play, and he gets another run across the plate. It's 4-1. to one. Gavin Lux to the plate now here in the seventh inning. Here is a throw to first by du Dumont, and he overthrows Kerry Doss at first. Can't make that mistake in the World Series. That brings up Freddie Freeman to the plate. Ground ball to the right side. That one will be fielded by Doss. And Madison Bumgarner covering first. He's out of energy, though, so we have to bring in Austin Pruitt. And he will face Cody Bellinger, who was struggling versus Bumgarner. We'll see if Pruitt can get it done. He hangs one right over the middle of the plate. Gets lucky. It's just a fly ball to dead center field. It will be deep enough to score the runner. But if John Dumont did not make that error, this would be a 4-1 ball game going into the top of the eighth inning. Instead, Trammell comes up with one out here to face Scott Alexander. And Trammell has just been tremendous so far. He draws a walk as that brings up Jorge Alfaro to the plate now. He hits one well up the middle. That one does sneak through the infield. And now we have runners on first and second with one out. We decide to bring in Jesus Aguilar to pinch hit here for John Dumont. I will definitely bring in Shea Wickham to obviously, obviously play second base, but we'll see what Aguilar can do. Hard hit ball to left side. That one will load up the bases. No, we're sending the runner. It's aggression here in the World Series. Five to two. Nashville will have the three run lead right back is now we come to Enrique Bradfield hitting in that nine spot, and he does swing and miss at the slider. That will bring up Willie Adames here at the top of the lineup, and Adames had that hit earlier. He is now two for four in the game. He hits one to right field. That will just be a fly ball to Mookie Betts, and now we have the three-run lead. Austin Pruitt now facing Clint Frazier. Frazier gets a hold of one. Deep to left field. It's gone. It's now a 5-3 ball game here in game number six. Nashville is now playing for their lives here. And now we bring in Pablo Moya. We need some outs as we move on to the ninth inning. Mookie Betts at the plate. It is 1-2-3 to start this inning for the Dodgers. And that's going to be a ground ball into the shift for Mookie is that's going to be one out. One out here as that brings up Gavin Lux. Ground ball to third, and that one will be the second out of the inning. We are one out away from a game seven. Freddie Freeman at the plate now with two outs. A 2-1 outside fastball will be a fly ball to left field. This is going to game number seven. 
Let's do it. One more game. Winner take all. As we are still in LA, this should be a good one. Madison Bumgarner absolutely pitched a gem, did not give up a hit until the sixth inning. And he pitched amazing in this game. That's definitely what we wanted out of him when we traded for him. But now, here the lights are bright, the sky is black, and it's a sold out crowd for game seven. This game will be Jack Leiter versus Dustin May. Dustin May is a very good pitcher for the Dodgers, and we decide to put Jack Leiter back on the mound. He had a rough outing in his first start here in the World Series, but I believe in him when we pitch with him, so we're going to do it here in Game 7. Troy Quincy does not have the energy to go in this one, and Jack Leiter is the best available option. He will be our number two going forward in this series anyway. Here we go, facing Dustin May. Dustin May starts out pretty hot with two straight strikeouts. That brings up Rafael Devers to the plate now. Now Devers is, remember, the number three vote getter in the AL MVP two seasons in a row since playing with Nashville. He fouls off a couple of pitches, and now it's a 3-2 pitch now. The 16th pitch of the inning will be crushed to right field. Devers makes it. One nothing. Rafael Devers with his eighth home run of the playoffs so far. And he makes it a one nothing game here in game number seven. An excellent start here for the Stars. Our goal is to score early and often. And Devers gets us going. one nothing game as that brings up DTW to the plate. He does just fly out to left. But a good start here for the Stars. Jack Leiter, we'll see what he's got facing Mookie Betts. And Betts has just been struggling so far here in the World Series. He flies out to center field. Gavin Lux to the plate now. He does swing and miss at a high inside fastball. Two outs. Bringing up Freddie Freeman, who is absolutely crushing the ball here. And that one is up in the zone, and he absolutely crushes that one foul. And the at-bat continues here with Cody Bellinger on deck. Hard hit ball up the middle and right into the shift. It's a ground ball out, a 1-2-3 inning. Instead of Jacob McCarthy in the DH spot, we decide to use Colin Ozuna there. Ozuna has been uh, clutch for us in a lot of opportunities this year. And now we send him on the move. And that one will actually move the second baseman a little bit. And the throw to third base will not be in time to get Ozuna and that's the reason why you start him here in a game seven. I love the speed when he gets on the base paths. We need to do everything possible to score as many runs as we can. That brings up Jorge Alfaro, who had that uh, two RBI single here in game six. He has a bloop single to right field this time. That one gets down. Tramel tries to get to third and will get tagged out trying to go back to second, but it's now a two nothing ball game. Enrique Bradfield comes to the plate now with two outs, but he just hits a tapper in front of the plate. But now Nashville has the 2-0 lead. On to the second inning. This is Cody Bellinger, and I'm not going to give him anything good to hit. That's ball four. J.D. Davis at the plate, who hit that home run earlier in game six. He uh, broke that no-hitter earlier, and that one will be a fly ball to right field. Dom Thompson-Williams covering ground. Will Smith comes up. He swings and misses as well. Bringing up Andy Pages to the plate now. And he does watch that pitch. But look at the throw by Alfaro. I don't know why they would send Bellinger in that situation. You cannot run on Alfaro. A perfect throw. And it's still 2-0 into the third inning. Gary Doss to the plate now. Hits a hard ground ball to third. Good play by the third baseman. Will knock it down, but the throw will be offline, and Kerry Doss will be safe at first. Not a place where you want to make errors. Game seven of the World Series. That will bring up Rafael Devers to the plate. 3-1 pitch over the middle, and he drives this one deep. This one's got a chance off of the top of the wall. Mookie Betts comes up throwing, but we will hold the runner at third. And now we have runners on second and third. One out. 
and Dom Thompson Williams coming to the plate. You already know how clutch he's been so far in the playoffs. Endeavors is two for two today. DTW now, 2-2 two -two pitch low. This one's going to be a grounder up the middle, and it's going to be trouble, and Dom Thompson Williams will beat that out. He's got excellent speed. We all know he can do it all, and he beats that one out. It's 3 nothing. Colin Ozuna comes to the plate next. He did walk and score a run earlier, but a low sinker. He watches that one. That was probably a good pitch to hit right there. Two outs as it brings up Taylor Trammell, a chopper, and that one almost bounced over the head of Freddie Freeman, but a heads-up play at first. He will step on the bag. On to the bottom of the third inning. Jack Leiter facing Paul DeYoung. This is a deep fly ball to center field, and this one just stays in the yard, just short of the warning track, but he got a lot out of that ball right there. Clint Frazier up to the plate now. Outside fastball will be ball four. The top of the lineup rolls over now as that brings up Mookie Betts, the struggling Mookie Betts, and he just hits a pop up to center field. Wow, what has happened to Mookie Betts? It is still 3 0 through three innings. Jack Leiter is pitching amazing so far as we hop into the bottom of the fourth inning. Gavin Lux to the plate. He hits a high fly ball to center field. Enrique Bradfield will be under that one. For the first out of the inning. Freddie Freeman now. Low fastball. It's just a weak ground ball to Kerry Doss. This is what we needed to win these games. Getting Freddie Freeman and Cody Bellinger out. Two outs. And that's going to bring up Bellinger. He's got 11 home runs so far in the playoffs. He hits one well to center field, but it will just hang up there right to Bradfield. And it is still 3-0. No hits for the Dodgers so far through four. Kind of the same story as game six. Dustin May now approaching 90 pitches on the game here in the top of the fifth inning, and he will be Kerry Doss here. Is that brings up Rafael Devers to the plate now. One out. He is two for two so far. He gets a hanger right over the middle of the plate. This one's driven deep to center field. It's going to be gone. Rafael Devers have a day. Three for three. A double and two home runs for Devers. When you need clutch players to come through in clutch situations, Devers is always at the top of that list, and that will be the end of Dustin May's day. They go to the bullpen and, bullpen and bring in Ryan Pepio out of the pen, and we will see if he can get it done. But we are still cruising with Jack Ladder. He's only had 80 pitches through five and one third inning. Is that will bring up the next batter, a low ground ball a slow ground ball to short and Mookie cannot do anything I don't know what's going on with Mookie Gavin Lux now chopper to first nothing doing for the Dodgers offense through six innings Jack Leiter is absolutely pitching a gem still no hits Devers up to the plate now in the seventh inning how about a four for four day from Rafael Devers? If somebody wants that World Series MVP, it's looking like Rafael Devers. What a clutch performance from Devers today. You couldn't draw it up any better. Dom Thompson Williams comes up. He hits one well to center field. This one's back to the wall. It bounces off the warning track. Devers is gonna try to score from first. The throw home will not be in time. Six to nothing for the Nashville Stars here in game seven and Dom Thompson Williams comes through again time after time here in the playoffs this has happened that brings up Ozuna who hits one deep that one just foul he continues this at bat though inside curveball that would have been electric Men on first and second here. Taylor Trammell, who's also got home run power versus righties. He hits one well to short, and it is snagged. And now we move on to the bottom of the seventh inning. Jack Leiter still hasn't given up a hit so far, but that one will be hit 
to center field. Freddie Freeman gets the first hit of the game for the Dodgers in the seventh inning. This could be the end of Jack Ladder's day. I know his energy is getting low here, but we're going to continue to pitch him here versus Cody Bellinger. Inside pitch, Jack Ladder misses his spot by a mile. That's how you know he's getting tired, but it doesn't matter anyway. A fly ball to left field. J.D. Davis to the play, 0 for 2. Ground ball to short. This could be 2, and it will be. What a performance from Jack Leiter here as we move to the ninth inning. It is still 6 to nothing. Pablo Moya comes in to shut down the Dodgers lineup, and once again, Mookie Betts starts out in the ninth, leading it off, and he is hitless in games 6 and 7. Gavin Lux to the plate. He gets a hold of one deep to right field. This one will be gone. The first run of the game will come in the ninth inning via a solo homer from Gavin Lux. But they need a whole lot more than that. Down by five. Freddie Freeman at the plate. One for three. Make it two for four as he goes up the middle. That's really been the only spot he's been getting hit so far. His Two hits have been in that same area. Cody Bellinger at the plate. One, two, pitch. Outside, change up. And we are one out away from a World Series. Pablo Moya, the young kid, facing J.D. Davis. Fly ball in the foul territory. Kerry Doss, the former AL Rookie of the Year, will have it in Nashville. Takes home the World Series. In season number four, the first playoff appearance in Nashville history. The Stars will win it all. Unbelievable run by this team. I cannot believe it. I thought that Nashville was good enough to make the playoffs this year, but never in my wildest dreams did I think we would make a run at the World Series, especially looking at our pitching. Our pitching has been the most surprising thing of this series. We were top five in ERA two years in a row, and we did not have a top five pitching staff. We had probably the number 22nd ranked pitching as far as overall goes, but we somehow found a way to get it done. Rafael Devers, if there was any doubt, he was the World Series MVP after that Game 7 performance. I mean, he pretty much carried us here in Game 7. But how about the performance from Jack Leiter? I got to give it up to him. I mean, the kid gave up his first hit of the game in inning number 7, and he was just lights out. It was incredible. Madison Bumgarner was an amazing pickup at the deadline. And I don't know if I'm going to re-sign him, but we wouldn't have won the World Series without him for sure. Troy Quincy was really good, but Jack Leiter absolutely was the king here in Game 7. I could not believe how well that performance was. And then Joel Pyams also played a huge role. He was our best relief pitcher here in the playoffs as a whole. So what is next? Well, we keep going. See if we can get another one. Get another one. We'll see how many. The road does not stop here. Now, we try to build the dynasty. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. You are now looking at the World Series Nashville Stars. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I like getting money, I got time to get it Talking on me, so my car's a tenny Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it Bible in a dash and the stick is with it And I hit the 4-5 on the wet side But I'm from the east side, this how we slide This how we ride, yeah, yeah, this how we ride